Hello, fans of the Focus Forum. Uh, slightly strange one, timing-wise. We're on on a Monday because we're looking ahead to Manchester United against Chelsea. We're going to play match of day two for that because they're obviously on tonight. You can see highlights of that game. But we're You've going to talk about already. Uh, Sorry, You've pay attention. Right, okay. uh, all, all I need you to do is talk about tonight's game. Okay. So um, we on Saturday's program we saw Mourinho. We talked about David Moyes as well. But Kevin, to talk specifically now about this game, how do you see this one? Just a few weeks into the start of the Premier League, and already we've got a whopper on our hands. Yeah, class. I mean, it's a big test of David Moyes' credentials, isn't it? Straight away at Manchester United, and they started so well down at Swansea. Excellent result. So, I think, you know, going against Mourinho, this is where he, he wants to be. This is where he, he sees himself, you know, in these sort of big games. And it's a big test for him. But, you know, you fancy United at home, don't you? He's already at it, Mourinho, yeah. as well. Is it, well, he is, isn't he? He's at, he was at it the other night with Paul Lamb. But can you, can you imagine if he actually beats Manchester United? It'll just go completely mad. Go off the scale. But um, I actually sit here and I want Manchester United to win. Because I just think he was a bit naughty the other night with Aston Villa. I think the way he treated Aston Villa, saying it was, it was all about Benteke, one ball to one man and all that kind of thing. I just think he has, he has a naughty side and, you know what, he doesn't need to use it. Mm. Psychologically, though, this stage of the season, it's obviously not going to decide the title in any way, but from a David Moyes perspective, first of all, um, this is a massive opportunity for him to land a big blow yeah. against one of his major rivals. Dan, it's his first home game as well. He's taken over from a fellow who's been there 20-odd years, who's been... An absolute legend. I think, well, we both know David Moyes extremely well. I think he'll be, he'll be a little bit, make sure we don't get beat. Yes. I, think, I think there's part of that in his makeup and his psyche. But, yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's just such a massive, massive game for him. The daft thing is, it's too early in the season. Mm. We, you want this in sort of well, I mean, November, He will December. have that cautious approach. Yeah. I'm sure that he will for yeah. this game. But it is an ideal opportunity for him. And the way that Chelsea played in that first half against Hull last week, I think we accept that Chelsea are a strong, top, top team. But... They've got Van Persie in the way that he's playing right now. You couldn't rule anything out. Do we think Rooney will play? Well, that's, that's the other that's, thing. That's yeah. going to be my next question to you. Yeah, because you've got Mourinho has said that he won't put in a bid for Rooney on the Monday today to you know that sort of unsettle. That's good things. of him. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's got to start him. I think he's got to start Rooney. I right. think he has to because I mean, the, Rooney came on at uh, Swansea. He made an impact. He did really well for the for the two goals that United scored when he came on. He is the sort of player that you need in these big games. He's a big game player. So yeah. regardless of what the speculation is surrounding his future and whether he's going to go to Chelsea or not, he has to play him. He, he, look, he looked lively. He might not be match fit, but he, he did actually look lively. And he can change games. And you, uh, you touched on it earlier. I mean, Mourinho is already at it, as you said. But yeah. if, the, if they do manage to win at Old Trafford, the bravado gets switched up to level 20, doesn't it? Oh, Early on. I mean, yeah, this could, this could be this little clash of the managers that, that could go on now for, for years to come, you know. And... I, th I suppose David Moyes recognises now he's in the hot seat. He's in, he's in the you know the the real limelight, I suppose, for these big clashes that he's going to get. And I think this Mourinho one now, this is something that could, could you know, spark. Certainly with the Rooney issue as well. Tactically, I, I, you, you both said that Manchester United won't want to lose this. Chelsea will be in the same position as well. So where where on the pitch are going to be the key battles? Is it well, going to be sort of Vidic and, and Ferdinand holding things together for Manchester United? Well, that's and the, 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 thing Chelsea that, the thing about that, Dan, is, is that who, who starts for Chelsea up front? Do you start with Torres? There was a spell sort of two and a half, three years ago where Torres used to torture Vidic for fun. Absolutely, especially at Old Trafford. Do you start with Torres? He's not the same player. Do you play Lukaku? inexperienced, raw, but a handful. Or, or do you play with Denver Bar? That, I think that's the biggest single decision that M Mourinho mm. has to make. It'll be interesting to see what he does. Who has the most match winners? Watching Chelsea last week, seeing the way that they played, I think Chelsea are probably playing the better football right away now. I think United are going to take a little bit of time to gel, although United did play well at, at Swansea. I think, for me, I think Chelsea probably have the edge. Probably have more match winners, but I'd rather be with Manchester United in terms of what they've got at the back as opposed to... I, th I think Gen John Terry's got even slower. I think you know, the right service to the likes of Van Persie, Welbeck, might just tip the scales. OK, so um, I, I imagine you're both going to go 1-1 after all that, but what, yeah. what are you going to go for? Man United. I'm going for Manchester United. Okay. I'd like United to win as well. I, I, I think United might win, yeah. No. The okay. fact that the manager's invited me to the game has got nothing to do with it. <laughs> well, you enjoy yourself tonight, I will then. do, don't worry. I'm neutral. I'm Great. Make sure you're in home, at home in time for match of day two, which is uh, on a Monday night tonight, so this evening for you. I might uh, not be. 
<laughs> I imagine not. Uh, 10.30 on BBC One and uh, Football Focus, we're back next Saturday at, a, at a, another different time for you, just to confuse you further. 12.15 on Saturday and uh, thank you both to Mark and to Kevin. Enjoy the game this evening and we shall see you soon. Goodbye.